Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, it's all Grady. Look where we are everyone. We're on top of the wall. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. We are at our house build site and we're messing with the anchors this morning. Yeah, we're also, it's all Grady. Oh yeah, it's all Grady y'all. It's all Grady y'all. <laughs> Um, so tell everybody what we got going on, baby. Well, what we got going on today is we're kind of waiting on our material delivery. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, we're just trying to do little preparations since, since there's nothing else to do right now. So we're preparing for our next phase, which is sill plates. Yep. I'm going through and cleaning the excess concrete off guys, right? Scraping it down maybe knocking some of these anchor bolts back and forth a little bit to straighten them out. I'm finding some spots it's got a little mound here and there, so I'm chiseling it down just a little bit. So our boards sit right down on there nice and happy. Yeah. So and in the meantime, we can chop it up a little bit about what it was like. Yeah. Going into this blindish. <laughs> I mean, I could say blind, but like I stress so much about it. We had a lot of recommendations and but in the end, I was definitely a lot more scared about what I was about to do than what I needed to be. Yeah. So, you guys, we had viewers contact us a while back and say, hey, there's a pump truck company that we used just outside of Mountain Home. Well, the pump truck company is in Mountain Home. But they suggested we contact and see if they come out here. And due to uh, just word of mouth, everybody says, you know, they don't go out here. So we never even tried to call. Yeah, I like, I had it in my head that there's no way that they is coming out here. Mm -hmm. And that was because of the discouragement that I got from the locals, yeah. which I know better than that anyway. So nothing wrong with the locals information. It was my own fault for doubting so thanks, Baby Cakes, because yeah. you made that call. Yeah, so I was like, you know, just something kept ebbing at me, and I was like, just call and see if they come out here. Because and... a thousand buckets loads does not sound <laughs> fun. No. So a phone call sounded funner. Good job, Baby Cakes. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad that it actually worked out. Um, so thanks again to... Our friends outside of Mountain Home who suggested the company, they were a fantastic company. The pump truck guy was wonderful. Yeah. It went so smoothly because he just knew when to start and stop. And I wasn't sure if he was working for me or <laughs> I was working for him. He was so full of helpful knowledge yeah. and direction for us. Because mm -hmm. he was like, yeah, we could, I could hire somebody to come out here and do that, but it's going to cost a lot. He goes, ah, I think he could do it. Yeah. So, cool. I was like, cool, man. And with his direction, I knew what was coming, what to expect. It wasn't a surprise. And sure enough, if we didn't knock this sucker out of the park, and I'll never be scared of a pump truck again, not that I'll probably ever need one. Yeah. And it went pretty quick. We got it done, and there was not a whole lot of mess. No. Which was a big blessing. Yes, because that's what we were really scared about, mm -hmm. was doing all this work. Only for it to get all messed up. Only for it to be all messed up. Even yeah. if we are going to cover this up, guys, it's about our own, it's about us putting that much pride into this. Yep. And then to just have it messy was a decision that wasn't easily made for me. Right. But it we, was made in the end that we could compromise that, mm -hmm. but it ended up not being bad. Yeah, so we were actually willing to compromise that toward the end just because we knew we would be covering the walls, like Marcel said, and we just wanted to get it done without having to do all of that physical labor with bucket by bucket by bucket. Yeah. So I would pay, I would have paid twice that what we paid to not have to do that 1,050 some buckets. Yeah, that that's a lot of heavy lifting and you know, I, it's just a lot, so. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. And they would have been out here unhappy with us because it would have took forever to get those trucks unloaded. Yeah. Guys, we had this stuff, the actual pump time was probably less than an hour. Yep, it went pretty smooth. It, it, most of the time spent was setting up and breaking down and the clean outs, mm -hmm. which was 
quick as well. Well, yeah, and then like the waiting for the other truck. Waiting for the was other the truck. longest portion, which wasn't very because we were right here in the beginning yeah. when he said, "Do you want that other truck?" And we were like, uh, "Yeah," because we seen it going so fast. So but. I I had told him I said, "Listen, man, this is your truck. You're gonna see me. You're gonna know." whether I have what it takes or not right out the gate. So don't let me mess it up, <laughs> right? So if you think that we're ready to call for that second truck, then we'll call for that second truck. Because the, the ready mix place said, it's gonna take you a while to pump that guy. So let's not get these trucks in series. Because the yeah. pump truck guy said it's 15 minutes in between. He was right. We could have went 15 yep. minutes in between because they're half an hour away. And that's what it like took us to get around this was like that. It wasn't long, guys. It was yeah. fast. Yeah. I didn't have time to be happy, sad, scared, stressed, none of it. All I had time for was to make sure that the concrete was splashing in my holes. <laughs> and we did a really good job of that. Yeah. That dude was super cool, man. Like I said, he lined us out. Then after we pumped the pad, he grabbed a board and had his controller and had a board and was helping me like do the pre-finishing on the slab yeah teaching me how to like uh swoop the board and i was like man this guy is a rock star you gotta shout that out Heck so if yeah. you guys are ever in this area and you just have the dire's need of a pumper concrete pump truck that's the guys you call mm -hmm. matt with the west pump I'll be sure to put that in the description below, you guys, yeah. if you wanted to check them out and just yeah. see what they're about. Yeah, they're all about pumping that concrete, baby. Yeah, just a small family company just doing their thing. Yep, kicking butt and taking names. Mm -hmm. Good people, too. Yeah. And charged me less than I thought it was going to cost. Heck yeah. Maybe that was my numbers. Mis maybe I mistaked my numbers, but I don't think I did. I think he hooked it up. Mm -hmm. In my mind, he did. Mm -hmm. So, right on, Matt. Yeah, thanks. We got man. another Matt coming out today, too. Yeah. So, Matt, when you watch this, what up, brother? <laughs> so, we have our delivery coming today yeah. for materials. So, we went with the same company we went with last time, which is Ride Out. So this company was really good. Um, the delivery guy is amazing. Marcel's become friends with him. They are the ones that brought us our blocks, you guys. Yes. And they're very competitive with the pricing. Yep. Good people. Good people. Um, and they told us what we needed. Yeah. And they were pretty darned close mm -hmm. to on point. And yeah. I think one time I said that they, were, they had some crazy charge about like return fees or something like that. I'm going to retract that because I went back and looked. I might have had a nightmare. I don't know. <laughs> but it didn't come off that bill. No. And there was no such a bill. And I don't know if there ever was anything anyways. Who knows where I came up with that crazy stuff. Yeah. But anyways, they're awesome. Yeah. And Matt, the delivery guy, is awesome. It makes the experience pleasant. Yeah, we love supporting small, local. And we were small family at one point. Yep. small family business and we're working toward that with the farm now and yep. we're getting in there little by little but we're getting close mm -hmm, the house is taking precedence uh but we're still working on everything else in the yeah. background yeah which is gonna have to things are gonna start coming together more smoothly once the house and is up. sooner because we're getting to that point to where we need like we've been out here for two years guys yeah. <laughs> no jobs. No jobs. We've been just focused primarily on building our home and building Cleaning this up. crazy dream that we got going on. Mm -hmm. Now we need to build some income. Mm -hmm. So that's what's coming next, baby. Yep. And it's going to be fun mm -hmm. for everyone. <laughs> yeah. I was a poet. We're going to be it. we're going to be doing a lot of things. Some things we've been doing for a while, some things we're just learning, so we are excited to bring you guys along on all of it. Um, I am going to be doing something really soon that you guys are going to be surprised that Marcel actually does with me. Yeah. Even though Don't he's... Don't ever be surprised about this guy doing anything, first of all. <laughs> he's made a lot of fun about what I do, but he's actually taken part of it. So yeah. you guys will have like to I, see. I bust chops about the chickens, guys. But if anything happened to, to my chickens... Yeah. My baby's chickens. It would be a sad day. You forgot to get your chickens. 
Yeah, you guys got come get your chickens. We got 21 of them down there that they're waiting to come home. Mm-hmm. And they're not outlaw chickens, not all of them. Mm-hmm. They're mostly pretty cool breeds. Yeah. Yeah, we even got, what are they called now? They're called uh, uh, olive eggers or green eggers or Easter eggers or whatever. It's the morass. Well, and the- Sancho was successful, you guys. Yeah, Sancho so was successful. He is a whiting true blue from Groovy Eggs Farm. Bobblehead Homestead. Yeah. Uh, he's transitioning back into Bobblehead Homestead. Um, and I have Moran hens, so that's what he raises too. But my Moran hens came from another flock. So, I don't know, like olive eggers or something like that. Yeah, I we don't no even clue. know what they are. They're chickens, and they lay eggs, and they're yeah. different colors than the ones you buy from the grocery store. Yeah, I love uh, our rooster, Sancho, that we got from Groovy Eggs. Yeah. He is so cool. He's got duck wing feathering, white and black. Yeah, he's got a beard and some fuzzy cheeks. So that's what cheeks. our chicklets have. Mm-hmm. Beard and fuzzy cheeks. Yeah. Some of them even have fuzzy legs. Some of them even have fuzzy legs. That's the moran. Mm-hmm. That way their legs don't get cold in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. What's up, baby cakes? What, what were we about to talk about? We're about to talk about thanking some, some folks for coming out to here, here to help us. Not that we couldn't have done this on our own, but what an amazing blessing that we didn't have to do it on our own. Yeah. And that is just so, so unbelievably awesome that words could never even describe the thanks that radiates from us right now. Things went so smooth with the Corfill, and we want to just give a big, huge thanks again to our friends at Tilted K Homestead because they came out and moved Marcel around, which made it easier for everybody else to be available. Marcel had his part, Gage had his part, and I was able to record for you guys, um, and it just went really smoothly. So yeah. thanks again, guys, for showing up to help yeah. us. And, Eric and Melissa. Yeah, Bam. Eric and Melissa over at Tilted K. Yeah, you got to check them guys out. Yeah. They're kicking butt, man. They're going to be... They're doing all of this except for, like, all of it. Like, they're going to make the stuff, too. So yep. I'm not going to spill all their beans. But that's a cool couple that have an amazing story to share and an amazing journey. So be sure to check out Eric and Melissa over at Tilted K Homestead. They are quickly becoming good friends, and we enjoy spending time with them. And we are just, like, just cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool, you guys. That's We're just it. having fun. So after this stuff, I mean, we could talk about this core fill until all my hair falls out. But that won't take long. Yeah, so we're uh, pretty much wrapping it up on this. Just got a couple more of these things to yeah. pound on, which we don't um, want to subject you to. So Yeah, I'm mostly cleaning up the surface a little bit so that when we go and put our seal seal on here and our boards, guys, Look, I'm not going to have big chunks sticking out. So it's just some of that preparation that I'll bet you doesn't happen a whole lot on a job site. What will typically happen is they'll throw a seal seal on that summon again, throw a board on it and wrench it down, and it'll just poke into the board, and it would, I'm certain it would be just fine. Yeah. But since we have time, and we're just trying to really not work too hard today and chop it up with y'all, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Chillaxing. Yeah, we got a truck coming in today. It may make yeah. it in this video. It may make it in the next video. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, we already talked a little bit about that, man. What do we got coming, baby cake? So oh, my I'm... gosh, you guys. The whole house, pretty well, the well, shell of the house the is coming. The shell of the house. Yeah. yeah. So we ordered all the sheathing, mm-hmm. all the decking, all the uh, floor joists, the sill seal, the rim joists, the, the sill plates, the... The support wall downstairs, which is a two by six by tens, and then all of our upstairs walls, the all 10 foot as well. So we have all the tops and bottoms, all the two by fours for the corners. We've, we didn't buy extras for the windows intentionally, but we did stock up extras on the order anyways. So that being said, we have everything. We already got the roof joist down the hill we're just waiting for things to happen. Yeah. So what happened? We 
to get ready yesterday, guys, we pulled out some of our nail guns, mm-hmm. right? And one of them is not functioning very well. One of them is functioning, but it's a pretty old one. So dad gave us a Craftsman 28 degree angle framing nailer. And yeah, we went and bought another one. Yeah, we bought one that has multiple angles, so we can utilize that one with pretty much any nail, but it also will match the one we have, so exactly. if we... Yeah. We can use the same nails, you guys. Yes. That's that's pretty... And it was cheap. It was cheap. Yeah. We did go through Harbor Freight and bought mm-hmm. a cheaper. It was like Central Pneumatic or whatever their brand is there, but yeah. you know what? They throw a good warranty on this stuff, guys, so even if it is a... Uh, a part, even if it is a tool that wears out quickly, which I just, I don't know how quickly nailers wear out, but they honor their warranties real well and everything. So yeah. for a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars, it was well worth it to not have to drive to town if dad's failed. Fails because that thing it is, is old. old. Yeah. So these things have like baffles and stuff in them, right? It's got a, and we would have to buy a rebuild kit or find somebody that can rebuild them. And it could cost us that much anyways. Yeah. So, so by the time it's all said and done, so it was better just to buy one and buy the nails. And so that's what we did. Not to mention, so it's way nicer to have two guns anyways. Yeah, because Gage and Marcel could both be going at the same time. Exactly. So we can have the same thing going on two ends, which is amazing if you've ever done any building with with bigger materials, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When you got to pick something up on this end and on that end, and you're like, oh, and then you got to run down and run over and give the nail gun to them or take their spot, and you're doing a funny dance on a ladder and stuff. Bump all that. The only way we're going to do that, guys, is if one of those nail guns fails. And if it's the one from Harbor Freight, we're taking it back and getting another. (laughs) So, but then we can also have our two-inch ring uh, rim shanked nails for our decking and mm-hmm. our sheathing, right? And or our uh, 16D, 28 degree, something coated dipped. Mm-hmm. All the bells and whistles. Now, nah, all right, I've taken it too far, guys. Taking it too far. But there are two different kind of nails. Two different kind of. It's nice to have it in two guns. Yeah. When we're at that point, you know. Yeah. So. so I'm glad we have both of those so they can both be utilized at the same time. Yeah. Um, who knows? I think we'll be trying to get these plates on as soon as we can, but we are looking at some rain coming up. We are. It keeps changing, though. Today was supposed to be rainy, and now it's not. It's supposed to be rainy tonight, and there's a pretty good chance that it rains all night and into tomorrow. But like <sighs> you said, baby cakes, it keeps changing. Yeah. So, but here's the thing, guys. None of these phases are going to take long enough to be able to. So, like, I can lay all these sill. I could put the sill plate down in a day. Just like I couldn't barely. We got one time we went around this whole thing and put 140 blocks. Or whatever, 100 (laughs) 100 blocks is what it was. One time. One time in a day, right? There's none of the materials we're putting together now except for the two by fours is going to equal to a hundred. Yeah. Right? There's not a hundred pieces of plywood. There's not a hundred floor joists. We're talking 30 guys, 30, and we're done. So that's easy peasy crap and easy. We're going to be able to lay this stuff out and it's going to go up. Pretty it's going to go up. It's going to go like the pumper wind. <laughs> I hope so, but I, hope I don't so know. Too. You guys, we have big hopes and dreams of building this quickly uh we do have experience some with building uh i've never built a house never built a house but we have general knowledge of it and marcel has metal building experience and and we have our business in the past together and i have building experience yeah so through other people's experiences and just people sharing their knowledge with us um we actually got a little bit ahead on the game with the block work and just pretty much this whole experience. Yeah. So we want to say thank you to our friends, Melanie and Gary, over at Simple Life Reclaimed, because you guys 
gave us the hands-on that we needed to get a little bit further ahead instead of struggling like you guys did with that first block. Um, yeah. It really made a difference, you guys. It did make Thank a difference. You. Because we would have started out just like they did. Yeah. Right? And they did. They had a professional come out and show them what's up and everything. But there's a difference between a professional trying to teach you something. And somebody. And somebody that just mm -hmm. learned it. Because the way it's explained is in layman's terms. Yeah. Right? Which is all I can really handle. Right? So when Melanie and Gary invited us out to lay our first block on their property, it was like, ah, because, because <laughs> that's the scary part, guys, is taking that first step. And being able to watch those guys make mistakes and then fix them, come up with solutions and not just abandon and, and you know, and give up because times got tough. Yeah. It was because of those experiences that we built the confident and courage in our and courage in ourselves yep. to take this step. Because it is a quite I don't know, maybe not for everybody, guys. It's it's this might be just like the as easy as as pie for some people. But for us, it took a lot, mm -hmm. right? To be able to accomplish or even to dream, but then to accomplish this, because like you said, baby cakes. There was a time we didn't even believe we was going to be homeowners. Yeah. And here we are doing this. And it's thanks to people like the people we've been shouting out. Melanie yeah. and Gary, especially you guys, for giving us that chance. It's amazing. So you guys have become amazing friends to us. And we're excited to reciprocate some of that. Guys, when you're ready to do your drywall, you let us know. Heck yeah. We love the whole family over there at the, the 41.36. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Like you so. guys, we know, so our Country friends Road in Cure. Arkansas are these guys. Like, we yeah. don't know anybody else. We know yeah, all of, our friend, fr all of our family is pretty much over there on the other side of Arkansas. Yeah. So we're building a little one over here. Yep, we are. Yeah, luckily for us, you know, some of our prayers have been answered. Yeah, right? we are. We're getting new friends every day, you guys. This last month has been just so busy. Yeah. We've made a lot of friends. Um, just things are progressing. And I don't know, spring is here for real this time, you guys. <laughs> you can see it. Everything bloomed in the background. Yeah. yeah, it was cold and then we came out and there was leaves everywhere. Yeah, it was cold for a couple hours. of days, freezing weather mm -hmm. in the morning, but it yeah. is good. I think that we're going to have some chilly days ahead, but hey we're guys, working. that's fine. You know what happens? We can work a little longer. Yep. Our days are longer. This phase is going to go fast, especially with my new nail guns. Bang, bang. <laughs> right? We're going to be able to, we're going to be able to build like, we've never built a house before, guys. That's how fast we're going to build this. Yeah. Yep. How hard can it be? Well, who knows? Uh-oh. Which phone is that? That could be Matt right there. Our delivery. If it's a text. Nah, guys, it's the weather. Marcel, you are overdue for your eye appointment. I can read my text, guys. <laughs> I don't see them right now. I've worn my glasses as many lives as we've had. That's how many times I've worn my glasses. Yeah. Pretty much. I've been trying to wear them more. My vision's bad, but it makes our work look good. I'm like, whoa, this looks really good, guys. What's that say on the front of that? <laughs> GoPro. Okay, I got it. So. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up for the day. Uh, waiting on this, but we want to get you guys out this video. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys for tagging along with us. If you enjoy our content, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Ring that notification Heck bell. Heck yeah, that's up there somewhere. Or down there. <laughs> it's down there. The notification bell? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I've been sending you to the wrong place. <laughs> I don't know where the notification bell is. You guys know better than me. So you seen my eye doctor just said it's I'm overdue, guys. So oh, okay. I'm just saying. Share our videos. That's exactly what I do. I did. I shared it with Matt right away. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, Matt, this isn't SD. <laughs> Sorry. You can wait till tomorrow to watch it, and it will be in f f 
4K. I hope you guys caught that for 4K, not the SD. Oh, yeah, I'm so sad. disappointed. Yeah, lessons learned, guys. We got excited and wanted to share uh, Denise's masterpiece. So if by chance you guys just caught this video and you strung out as long as this video has lasted and you haven't seen our last video, check you really it out. need to check that sucker yeah. out because we've, I don't want to toot anybody's <laughs> horn, but we've had some people tell us that they can't stop watching it. It's like an addiction. The excitement, Denise found the excitement in block filling and with the magic of editing yeah. and creativity. We turned block filling into a blockbuster. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Isn't that my saying? Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Come get your chickens. <laughs> They're cheap, guys. <laughs>